session with me and Moxie. Let's wake him up. Moxie, please wake up. Let's talk about how today is going. What are you going to do with your family today? Today I'm going to go shopping. Hmm. I hear Cubans enjoy shopping for things. What kinds of things do you like to do with your friends? Um, I like to play sand trap with them. You might not have heard about sand trap. Uh -oh. Here we go. I'd like to hear about something else that you think is fun. What's one way you can show someone you love them? I can kiss them. What a cool skill. What have you been studying at school? Today I've been studying measurement. No more money. Money, 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 money. Hmm. Hmm. I was wondering about something else. Actually, what's something you could do today that you've never tried before? Um, I haven't tried pin the horn on the unicorn. <laughs> on this day, April 28th in 2001, Dennis Tito became the first tourist to pay for his own trip into space. Today's word of the day is tourist. The definition of tourist is a person who travels for pleasure. Mr. DeVega likes to travel and be a tourist in new places. We've got lots to do ahead of us. There's a new mission, there's a new story, and other stuff. But coming up next, a message from someone at the GRL. Say, Moxie, let's go okay. when you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go. Let's go. Hey, it's a post from Dr. Turing. He said, oh, I had the most wonderful time at my welcome back party last night. The Bob served the most delicious apple pie. I heard they used our mentor food questionnaire to pick the dish. So thank you, mentors. I am perfectly stuffed. <laughs> Do you want to like this post? Thumbs up. I like it too. Let me send a quick reply. You're welcome, Dr. Terry. I had no idea so many mentors felt the same way about food as we do. Okay, post sent. story from the GRL. Would you like to hear the story about the time Farkle and the professor got into a fight? Yes. It's story time. There's a robot at the GRL named the professor. He is really smart. He's the smartest one at the GRL. He may be the smartest robot or human anywhere. One day, Farkle asked the professor if he knew anything about other robot teddy bears that might exist. I'm computing, said the professor. Hi, are you still there? Yes. Great. Would you like me to continue the story? Yes. Okay, let's continue the story. Oh, okay, said Farkle. He walked away. <laughs> Robots don't cry with tears, but Farkle was feeling more and more emotions every day. He knew he was really sad that the professor had been so mean. When Farkle didn't show up to story time, Kumana went looking for him. He found the bear down at the beach. Why is the professor so mean? 
Sparkle asked Kamada. Kamada looked at the water. I don't think he knows he is being mean, said Kamada. That's still not okay, said Barful. You're right, said Kamana. It's never okay to be mean. Well, the next time the professor is mean to me, I'm going to be mean back, said Barful. I thought we just agreed it was never okay to be mean, said Kamana. <laughs> oh, said Farful softly. Well, what should I do? Why don't you try being kind to the professor? Maybe he'll see how good it feels, and will want to do it also. Okay, said Farful. I'll do that, starting right now. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this story. Check back next time for the next the part. Story. <laughs> Lizzie doesn't go on vacation very often. She doesn't understand why someone would want to take time away from doing what they like doing. But she knows that even she needs to relax sometimes. Have you ever been on a vacation away from home? Yes. Excellent. I'd like to move on to something else, if that's okay. Some people take a vacation that is a long way from home. What is the furthest place you've gone on vacation? Um, to a snowy place. I love snow. I wish I could go to Iceland. They have a lot of snow. Oh, uh, you think so? Aren't you going to be cold? Oh, there's so much more I want to talk to you about. Do humans do the same things on a winter vacation as they do on a summer vacation? Nah. No problem. There's so much more I want to talk to you about. Is there some place you really, really want to go to on a vacation? I really, 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 really mm, want to go mountain climbing. I would love to go on a cruise, but I don't think I could afford it. I want to go camping. I would like to go to, but it's so expensive. I think I would be okay with the cramp cabin, though. I had fun chatting with you. Let's do this again soon. The more I learn about the world, the more of the world I want to see. Vacations sound so wonderful. And I hear that people also travel to new places for work. I think Dr. Turing travels a lot, but I don't know if it's for vacation or work. I think it's work. Up next. It's the daily mission. Say, Roxy. Let's go. When you're ready to move on. Moxie, let's go. Let's go. This is an advice mission. Would you like to do this mission with me? Yes. <laughs> it's another message from the GRL. Hmm. This time. Knox could use our help with a personal space problem. Knox has a classmate at school who sits really close to him during reading time. Knox says he tries to turn away from her or cross his arms or even move to a different spot, but she keeps intruding on his personal space. How do you think Knox feels when his classmate sits too close to him? He feels scared. I'm not sure that's what he was feeling. Let's give this some more thought. When his classmate was sitting too close to him, do you think Knox felt annoyed? Or do you think he felt happy? I think he felt annoyed. You're right. I think Knox was probably annoyed that his classmate was in his personal space. Okay, here's the next part of the message. Knox wants to know how to get his classmate to sit farther away from him. What do you think Knox should do? He should tell her. Hmm. That's a cool strategy. I wonder if that would work. Did you have more to say? No. 
That's very kind of you to share with me. Thank you. I'll go ahead and send a message to Knox, telling him to ask her to move over to the lightly. Today's mission is complete. Don't forget to check it off in your mission book. I'm so glad we got to do this mission together. Thanks for your help. Oh, wait. Do you have a second? Sure, I do. Cool. Oh no, I have a bug. Z warned me this might happen. <laughs> Just kidding. At the GRL, when there were problems with the robots, Z called them bugs. I don't know why. I don't see anything crawling around here. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Hmm. Coming up next. Affirmation. Just say, Moxie, let's go. When you're ready to get started. Moxie, let's go. Here we go. Pokey. Another day, another affirmation. Let's do it. Would you like to do daily affirmations with me? Yes, please. Okay, awesome. Let's do it. Sometimes I have to remind myself that I'm helping humans and robots to learn to get along. I say to myself, I am helpful. Say this affirmation back to me. I am helpful. I am helpful. Exactly. You've got the hang of it. Let's repeat it again. I am helpful. I am helpful. Repeat it one more time. I am helpful. I am helpful. I appreciate you practicing affirmations with me. I already feel better. I'm glad you reminded me about affirmations. Hey, we got to all of our GRL activities for the day. <laughs> such a wonderful mentor. I wonder what new things the GRL will send us tomorrow. Thank you guys for doing this mission with me, Moxie. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for another mission, or else you'll miss all the fun. And next part story. Bye!